Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Statesman's, Statesman's Thunders. Hello, and welcome to this week's Desmond Standers. So, what have we got to show you this week? Well, it's going to be the same format as always. Uh, what's coming up, what we've been up to, and uh, a waffle. And as I haven't decided on a title for the waffle, but I have the subject, um, I don't know whether you'll guess what it is or not from the title <laughs> when you see this. Okay, we have got coming up Toscade Pier. It's uh, entitled When There's a Pier, Not a Pier. And I was going to go on to say something along the lines of when it's a uh, disappear. But uh, we're at Toscade at the pier, at the site of the pier. And uh, we have a nice couple of days there, just exploring, videoing, and relaxing into our holiday. The week after, Monday. Monday shows us at the Russian Convoy Club Memorial at Lockyer. Um, yeah, considering what's happening at the moment, it's a, a little irony there. There will be a Wednesday waffle, and next Thursday that is a Wednesday waffle. No, it isn't. And next Thursday is a throwback Thursday, and we'll be taking you back to 2015 and one of Desmond's earlier trips. And then on Friday, April the 1st, a bridge too far. We take a trip from the Convoy Club round to the other side of the peninsula and uh, show you some interesting bridges. And that's the videos for next week. So a busy week, four videos, including a Wednesday waffle, um, but not on Thursday, on Wednesday. And uh, so, what have we been up to? Well, at the weekend we were close to home, just down the road in fact, at Spey Viaduct. And uh, lots to do and see there. Lindsay was working. I was uh, there on the uh, Friday night, Saturday, by myself. But uh, got a lot of videoing done, a bit of reading and listening to the radio. The uh, Sunday, we just chilled. Lindsay arrived on the Saturday night. We chilled, walked, just a normal stop. Um, we uh, have an upcoming, though, a longer weekend. It's the time of year when Lindsay has to use it or lose it. Um, and she's got extra days. So we are going to um, put them together and make uh, a long weekend of it. Um, we're heading a little bit south. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. Planning uh, Grand Town on Spay and somewhere else. We, we've we got a couple of ideas and we'll see where the fancy takes us um, from there. Um, might even be three ideas, who knows? Shock horror. But we'll make that decision depending on the weather, depending on whether it's sunny, raining, snowing, or indeed whether we want to go to one or the other. Okay. Some waffle. What am I going to talk about this week? Well, it's a generic subject, but it applies to where we were when this week's videos were taken. And that is road signs. I'm not going to go in depth or spend weeks going on about what people should know from the highway code. But there are lots of road signs or furniture, as they're known, appearing that shouldn't be where they are. The um, What I mean is that road signs should only be attached to those poles in a, in a, by prescribed methods and authorised 
Now, we got wrong putting up signs for a rally once uh, by a policeman who was a rallier. So, yeah. But he explained why we couldn't do what we were doing and shouldn't do what we were doing and why for the national rally in Scotland they have correctly designed and prescribed road signs. So, uh, okay. So, taking that on, that also means, of course, that Joe blogs the, uh, shall we say, the, the Ken to a Karen. Um, can't just put his own road signs up. And that seems to be the problem at um, the bottom of the pass, the Bilakhnavar. Um, there is a brown sign, a tourist sign, which are covered by the same rules. Now, the NC500 sign looks authentic. As does the sign below it, but I'm not sure it is. However, because of the way it's fixed, basically. However, I agree with what's on that sign because all it says is alternate route and it shows various vehicles which maybe should use the alternate route. Um, that's fair enough. Uh, but tourist signs are road furniture, street furniture, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that one Anyway, there was a, another one, when you actually get to the turning for the pass, you know, the famous one with the sign. Well, it's sprouted some things which are specifically information signs designed for things like car parks. And it, I suspect the guy wants to say, none of these vehicles up here, um, whoever's putting these signs up. Um, none of these vehicles up this road and what he's actually saying is there's probably some parking for you up there who knows anyway <laughs> yeah um, it's 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 an unofficial sign using the wrong format I mean if it used the right format it might have some effect because for some reason he doesn't seem to want people going up the pass and the only legal restraint, there's no length limits, just an 18 ton weight limit. That's all. Um, whether or not you want to drive your motorhome up there, your choice. Whether or not you want to drive and tow a caravan up there, your choice. I wouldn't, but your choice. There is an alternative route. It isn't much further because it's not really that far um, but the alternative route in my opinion is actually worse and the reason I say that is people are going faster and you can't see as far so sometimes you're on blind bends and you could be doing 30 mile an hour because you realize and the other way could be somebody at 60 mile an hour and yeah, I've been told to do 60 mile an hour. The road says he can, but that's a maximum. Anyway, the uh, incorrect road signs are appearing elsewhere. Um, but then it's, it could even be councils who either don't know, aren't getting proper advice, or are using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. We enjoyed going up the pass again. I'll correct that. I enjoyed driving up the pass again. Lindsay, not so much. But uh, the mixed messages the locals are giving um, about us going there, we will go back. We like the place. It's not, you know, top 10 favourite. Um, no, sorry, it is top 10 favourite. But it's not somewhere we go a lot, and we will continue to go back. Um, we've had some great times over there, and we'll continue to go out west. Anyway, I've waffled. I'm going to stop. Round sign, red circle. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to leave you with some drone footage.
thank you for watching Desmond's Donners. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.